Caltech Medical Engineering is very unique. We really go as deep as possible in engineering, and we collaborate with people that provide us expertise from biology or chemistry or computer science or medicine. But we really rooted in engineering. For this question, I have to refer to my colleague, Professor Garib. He invented a new device, handheld, non-invasive. It only needs to be applied to where vascular pulses can be obtained. And his student and postdoc have to work with medical doctors and clinicians to work on several thousand patients in the hospital. And together, they can gather enough data and validate the efficacy of devices and eventually can be FDA approved to uh, bring such a wonderful devices to our community. Blindness that's caused by four major diseases. The number one is cataract, the number two is glaucoma, the number three is age-related macular disease, the number four is diabetic retinopathy. We have programs working on new solutions for all four of them that never existed before. Diabetic retinopathy caused lack of oxygen, so we are engineering the first devices that can bring oxygen directly into retina to treat diabetic retinopathy. The Caltech Medical Engineering involves a lot of new device development devices that can obtain data about each individual person's medical conditions to look for unique features hidden from the major big signal that current technology cannot distinguish. That's why we think artificial intelligence can be applied to dig into the data and look for advanced warning of all the diseases. We think we can do that job really well within our medical engineering department. My colleagues at Caltech all have been working on micro nanotechnology for decades. So when we apply micro nanotechnology, we are using very accurate mass production technology to make medical technology smaller, better, and cheaper so everybody can benefit from it. 